It's Mimi from HeyMimiGirl.com and in this video I want to talk about Impress Press-On Manicure. This matte midnight blue manicure is called Bells and Whistles. A lot of places carry these but I've found that Walgreens has the best selection because they're the most expensive. You can find them at Walmart or Target or Rite Aid for five or six dollars. However, they're usually pretty cleared out and they don't have as good a selection and the colors aren't as grown up as what you would find at Walgreens. If you really are looking for for better selection and you're willing to pay a dollar or two more, I would suggest going to Walgreens for these. On Amazon I'm seeing um, between nine and fifteen dollars. So um, let me tell you what I really like about these. I love the shape and the length, the default shape and length of these. This manicure I have not filed down at all. This is the way it came, and I don't usually wear my nails this long, but I think it's really pretty and very natural looking. So I really like this kind of square shape. They're not real thick. And I think it's a pretty natural look to it. It doesn't look thick and fake to me. In fact, I like the way these look and feel better than a salon acrylic nail. So I like that a lot. Super easy to apply. They just have like a little plastic backing that you peel off um, and and then you stick it to your nail, which is also great because because of the plastic backing, you can hold them up to your nail and really see which size is going to be best for you. Where some other nails, like these ones, these are beautiful. Sensationelle is now making these stick-on nails. However, the minute you take it out of this little clamshell, it's already sticky on the back, so you have less opportunity to find the right size nail for each finger. Uh, so um, I love the adhesive that's on there. I have put one on as an accent nail and it lasted five days and I eventually wanted to take it off and it was very secure. It probably would have lasted another week if I wanted to. I also like that the, the way they're shaped um, seem to be good for somebody with a flatter nail bed because some fake nails that you put on they have like a, a whole lot of curve to it and it actually hurts because it's pulling the shape is pulling your nail bed in an unnatural curve. I just find that I have kind of a flat nail bed and, and these seem to sit very comfortably on there. They seem to be very durable. Um, there's some people on YouTube and on the review views that I've read that say they get two or three weeks worth of wear. And then the other thing, um, I prefer these to the glue-on nails uh, because I don't think they're going to pop off like a glue-on nail. But the other ones I had on earlier, the accent nails, I took showers, washed dishes, folded laundry, and they were very secure. If they felt a little bit loose, I would just push down on it and hold it there and it would kind of re-secure itself. But it's not rigid or brittle. The uh, adhesive stays soft, so I don't think you're going to have a nail go shooting across the table when you're out at dinner like you, you might worry about with the ones where you use the nail glue that gets brittle. My only complaint about these nails is that there's not enough multiples of um, the sizes that I like. After I put these on, I was a little frustrated that after I put the number five nails on uh, these two fingers that that all four of these fingers, I wish I had more number fives and I think number fours. Uh, three, four, and fives, I wish they had more than two of each of those. There seem to be two of each of most of all the nails. And then the thumbs, um, I think the number one there was three of those. And then um, just a unusual choice of accent nails. And this one did not have six accent nails, it only had five. It had 26 regular nails and um, five accent nails. So, you know, I just felt like the sizing was unpredictable and super difficult. This is a, my big complaint is that it's so Im almost impossible to read the numbers. You can hardly tell there's a number there. But even with my glasses and one of these magnifying things, I ended up using one of these things, a jeweler's loop. With the jeweler's loop and this thing, I could barely read the numbers. So I wish I wish it was easier to identify the sizes. And maybe print it on the stickers, print it on the sticker backing or something, because that was really, really frustrating. And so that I don't have to go through that over and over again, I took one of these pill boxes and um, put the numbers on here. And then when I did have that jeweler's loop on, 
I did my best to try to read the numbers. You actually have to peel back the backing and some of the rubber and some of the adhesive to hopefully be able to read the number. So some of them I couldn't read at all and I ended up putting those in here. I actually could have used six of these number five nails and there were only two. Um, there was only two each of the most used nails. You know, if you have a number five on this, if your ring finger or middle finger are also number five, you're out of luck. You would have to buy a whole nother set. Or what I did was use a nail that didn't fit quite as well. But compared to all the pros, uh, I really think uh, if I was going to wear fake nails, um, these would be the ones I reach for first because they're so easy to put on and so easy to take off and they don't seem to damage you know, don't leave your nails all rough and bumpy like uh, like the nail glue does. So I love these, and as you can see, I've already bought three sets, and I will definitely buy some more. I hope they make more colors, and I hope they maybe increase the quantities. I would pay up to $10 if they had maybe three or four of some of those um, middle sizes. So thanks for watching, and um, be sure and subscribe to my channel so you can see the follow-up videos of how long these lasted and also other manicures that I've done with these and other products. Thanks for watching. Hey Mimi Girl.